God bless you, God bless you all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Our God is a good God, is a merciful God and what a beautiful day. I'm headed to the gym. I'm headed to the gym this morning and um, uh, I hope you're doing well. I want you to share this a few times. I'm going to teach you a, a prophetic secret. Um, I was talking to one of my... I think I took an earlier exit. Oh well. I was talking to one of my brothers um, in in Christ, and uh, he asked me a very profound question. He asked me, and this is a prophet, is a good friend of mine, and um, what an anointed man of God. But he asked me a question. He asked me, how do you see the way you see? whereby when you're prophesying to somebody it's like you are telling them their story you are revealing the secrets but you're revealing the secrets by telling them their own story you're not asking them if it is true or you're not asking them you are literally narrating their story to them how do you do that so i was explaining to him something that i think that especially young men of God and uh, young prophets who want to function prophetically, I think it's very important for you to understand this lesson I'm going to teach you. The Bible says this, light and darkness are all the same to you. This is talking about God and this is in Psalms. I can't remember exactly the psalms, but I'm just going off the door. Light and darkness are alike to you. Nothing is hidden before you. Now, you have to think about that and see things from God's perspective for a second. To God, there is nothing that is in the dark. You can't hide anything because for Him, light and darkness are the same so if you try to hide something he can see it because you can't hide anything from him that's why the bible says light and darkness are alike to you so god doesn't try to or struggle to see anything that is hidden because nothing can be hidden from him god is light in him there is no shadow of darkness meaning that nothing can be hidden now you have to understand the context of darkness in scripture there are two different contexts of darkness one context of darkness is that it is a secret or a mystery hidden things that's why the bible says that which is done in the dark will come to the light meaning that what is done in secret will be exposed right but also remember the bible says God who dwells in an unapproachable dark God who dwells in an unapproachable darkness it doesn't mean God is in in a dark cloud even though the Bible describes it like that but what the Bible is telling you that God is surrounded by secrecy it is a mystery to see God it is a mystery to encounter God that's what the Bible is trying to tell you and obviously the other meaning of darkness can mean works of Satan, which are also hidden. Now, to God, there is no darkness. So, in order for you to be sharp prophetically, you can never be sharper beyond your revelation of Jesus. Because God dwells inside of you. If you're in Christ, God dwells in you. And because God dwells inside of you, 
and you can do all things through Christ through Christ who strengthens you then it means your profound revelation of Jesus is the content of light you used to see I don't know if this is making sense you can never prophesy, you can never have spiritual sight beyond your revelation of Jesus. Those who know their God shall be strong and shall do great exploits. Those who wait upon the Lord, He shall renew their strength. They will run and not faint. They shall soar like eagles. Why? It is your understanding of this great God that makes your eyes to see. So many brothers and sisters think that it's in how much you worship. How can you worship a God you don't know? Remember Jesus said this to the Samaritan woman. He said, woman, you worship what you don't know. And this is usually the, the issue we have with Christians is that we love Jesus indeed, but we don't know him. Or our knowledge of him is so small. That is why people still argue. Uh, people still argue about, is that prophecy is that divination is that this is that that is because you think about it for a second how can you compare the god of the universe the god who made heaven and earth how can you compare his mighty work or mighty works to a spirit of divination that just shows how much you trust god when people cannot see, when people see a manifestation of god that throws them off that it becomes something that bothers them that now nah, this cannot be of God just understand that their vision and their understanding of God is so small if you see the move of God and your first thought is this is impossible it means you don't know this God yourself you love him indeed but your revelation of him is so poor and that's the same thing um, that that's what happens to everyone that is trying to chase after God our revelation of him must become profound our revelation of him can never be weak our revelation of him must become so strong we must become knowledgeable about this great God that we serve if we don't know him We have literally um, played ourselves, if I should say. <laughs> so, it is up to you to make sure you don't just read the Word of God, but you get a profound understanding of the Word of God. Because without that understanding, you don't know God. The gift of revelation is so important because the same way you navigate the heart of God is the exact same way. Hear me now. It's the exact same way you will see the troubles of people. You will know the storms they are going through because you will have, you, you'll be seeing things through the eyes of the Lord. Remember the Bible says that the eyes of Jesus are like torches with lightning it's like a, a flashlight in his eyes let me tell you a secret heaven is full of light but the spiritual world is not full of light in fact the spiritual world is dark it's the content of light you carry and the content of right is your light is the revelation of Jesus that you have inside of you that determines your spiritual sight I don't know if you caught what I just told you. The spiritual world is not is not bright. It's full of darkness. That's why you find 
those who operate in dark arts even though they enter a world where you can encounter other spirits but why is it they never come to Jesus is because even the angels that are in that world that are doing missions for God because in order for angels to come from heaven they have to go through the spiritual world in order to come to our side it is the border between realms so when people think of the spiritual world they think of heaven yes heaven is a, a spiritual realm indeed but heaven and the spiritual world is two different things they are not the same thing and it and you can only know this by experience you will never know this if you don't have experience of the spirit you actually can't hallelujah i love to share these mysteries with you so that you know by the spirit of god that all things can be taught all things can be known there's no there's no such thing as um as god hiding anything from us god is not interested in that why would your father want to keep who he is secret it's definitely not his interest he's not interested in that because if you don't know him how then will you bring the world to him so i want you to 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 get an understanding of uh, what i'm trying to share with you is that you will never see in the spirit beyond your revelation of jesus if you want to know somebody is using a different spirit than the spirit of god it's actually quite simple just check how much they know about jesus he will tell you who they are spiritually <laughs> if you want to know who knows or who is using the right spirit in serving god you just need to check their revelation of king jesus you will know who they are so i love you guys i have to go i just go to the gym god bless you